Microtech SOCOM Bravo. Titanium and carbon fiber frame lock. This is the Tanto version. Collaboration with Reich Knives. And this is something I've been trying to get for a while for my son for work, believe it or not. The SOCOM Elite aluminum frame, Microtech Auto, the full serrated Tanto edge, a Tanto blade shape full serrated edge. You know, two very similar shape knives, obviously, but completely different on how they get there. It's being an aluminum chassis, you know, button lock, automatic. With the, I um, forget what they call this material, but the grippy synthetic, you know, inlays in this. So... A lot of people have emailed me about if I was going to do anything with this knife. I got this knife to trade. You know, I'm always looking for hard to find Spydercos. Figure since this is a hot ticket out there right now, um, you know, I, I'd get one if I could get one and then trade it away. And obviously this one's going to go to my son. So the these are direct from Microtech so far. 325 for the plain edge versions. When no serrations or anything, so that they have this obviously, and then the single edge, which is the regular blade shape. These are three twenty-five plus shipping. I think it's fifteen bucks. I think it was three thirty-five or something out the door for me. And then they have partially serrated and a full serrated Tanto, and then I partially serrated. No, yeah, so it's a partially serrated Tanto. And a fully serrated Tanto signed by um, Marfion. And they're, if it's the partially serrated, it's 380. It's a full serrated, it's 385. So they're basically charging you, you know, what, 60 something bucks for his signature. I'm not quite sure on that. I, I don't really give a, give a crap about that. But um, shows a collaboration with Reich Knives. Blade length, you know, four inches, handle length, five inches. Titanium and carbon fiber. There's been a lot of stuff in the knife community about this knife. I'll just let you know that already stand on its own. This is the updated version. Not a lot of websites have the updated price. 357.14 for the full serrated Tanto. I'm gonna check the weights here right now, but pretty much the same exact lengths, you know, blade lengths, overall length. Just talks about it being an aluminum frame automatic. So on the SOCOM Bravos, the easiest way to do it is to go on Microtech. So it's not Microtech knives, you won't find the link there. It's, it's Microtech gear. So they have shirts and sweatshirts and everything. And then they have all the different knives. You go to the knives section. What I did is I just put the email notifications. And it worked great. And I've had a couple chances now in the last couple weeks because they're selling out within like... 15 to 30 minutes to see the regular edge, you know, drop point style blade goes pretty quick. The Tanto is about 15, 20 minutes later. And then the other ones the other day were the ones, you know, signed by Marfione and they were there for a while, I think at least a half an hour. So, you know, if you, if you want to try to get all five of them or, or one out of the five, uh, the three signed and these two, you know, Download it to your web page and then uh, sign up for the email notification. It worked out perfect for me. I got the email and I had plenty of time to get on there. I even have an account, but I didn't log in. I just did it as a guest and I had plenty of time to get the knife. So it's a nice knife. It's well made. I haven't had anything by Reich. Believe it or not, I've never had a, um, yeah, I've just, I know they've specialized in integrals. I just never liked their styles that they had, but it's a well-made, well-made knife. I mean, um, there's nothing wrong with it. And obviously, if this was a custom, you know, it'd be $1,000, $1,500 to get these same kind of materials. I have no issues with them. They're telling you, 
It's not like the old, the Hoback, or if I, I think if that's how you pronounce Jake Ho, Hoback or Hobiak, or I don't know how you pronounce it. You know, he was actually deceiving people. I think his knives, some of them are made by Riat, Riat knives. You know, and he's charging 700 bucks, where a lot of the other makers like Pena are charging $400 or $450. So Microtech tells you right there. I mean, look at the dragon. So this is the, the box that that comes in. This is just the standard box, you know, for the, that all the Microtechs that I've bought come in, you know, from the United States. So just show you sizes. They are almost identical. This is that buck slim 110 the protec tr3 nobody talks about how hard this thing hits you know in physics for every action there's a reaction so if you have a smaller blade you know this is the little california legal kershaw this thing kicks watch it buck in my hand i don't know if you can see it but if you don't hold on to it, it has a little kick to it, but it's a little blade. It's got a strong spring for the little blade. Same with this TR3, it's got a bigger blade. It bucks, and then this thing kicks just as hard for its size. Obviously, it's a much heavier blade. As that opens up, it's gonna have more recoil. So it's not like they fire like some special spring or anything inside there. It's just a bigger blade with a stronger spring. You know, it's gonna have more recoil. So I'm not entirely impressed with, I like, the ergonomics of these knives. I, I would think if I was going to carry one personally, I would go with the man, the uh, manual version. I don't really like the way this thing. I'm trying to hold. I have big hands, so it's skinny here, and you know I, I'm trying to hold on to it, and it's awkward to try to push that button. This is an easy button to push for me. You know, it's just I pull it out of my pocket, boom, I have something to hold on to. It's super simple. This one has just been weird for me so far. Uh, you know, I, I, that's when you see it kick the most because I'm only holding it on up here. I have nothing really to grab here. My fingers are in the way. So I'm trying to, it's just awkward. Look at it move. It, just not for me. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't get used to it. It just, it doesn't feel comfortable for me. He's going to love it. He's not going to care. He's going to have big gloves on most of the time. He's going to use this for work. He needs serrated blades because he's cutting very heavy duty media does have the glass breaker on the end. I don't know if, it, you know, somebody's talked about this before, but if you could see the design, I, I, I know these have been out for a very long time. Um, but it is similarly shaped of a Yojimbo, if you look at it, the way it goes skinny down the bottom. So I just thought that was interesting, but um, it's a nice knife. There's no doubt about it. It's it's built well, but it is, it, it is not as nice as this Reich if you were just going to compare apples to apples. Obviously, you know, this one's made in China. It's, you know, the, the cost to manufacture is much cheaper there. But, you know, this is a well-made, beautiful piece here. So if you're interested in them, I would not hesitate. And once again, I'm not going to get into the whole political stuff about it, but pretty much everything you use these days, including parts for your Ford cars and Chevy cars and computers and iPhones, at least... Microtech is telling you right up front. They're not trying to conceal where they're actually made. So let's do a quick, I just wanted to check these weights because there, there is confusing on some of the sites. So I don't usually do this. So ounces, the aluminum is 4.65. And, uh, you know, Blade HQ says 5.36. So, and then let's check with... 5.7 and this Microtech site says 4.8. So let's double check that and make sure that we're not screwed up. And we know this way is like, you know, 3.9. So that's right. 5.7. And the aluminum chassis weighs 4.7, so an ounce lighter. So basically, Microtech on their site is using the aluminum weight on the knife. It's I don't know if it's just advertised wrong or you know, I just wanted to clear that up. So you know, I, I wouldn't hesitate to buy one of these if you guys have no issues with it. This one does just feel like a better knife to use for me. 
you know, having the manual. It does flick open really easy because it's a heavy blade. So if that's something that where your knife laws, I mean, it, it comes out pretty easy. You know, the detent, the detent's good on it, but it's a heavy blade. So the SOCOM Bravo, right collaboration with the Microtech. And then the automatic SOCOM Elite Tanto blade shape with the uh, full serrated edge. This is, uh, my son's gonna love this thing. Hope everybody's doing well. And I uh, hope you have a great weekend.